High Court that Mr. Speaker uh, was provided by the High Court to serve the rights of uh, Honorable Maura and the order subsists, uh, exists up to 20th of May, Mr. Speaker. Number two, Mr. Speaker, uh, I would expect that you would, uh, you would handle differently a matter that involves removal of a fellow senator. Mr. Speaker, why would you be so much in a hurry without the proper decision of the courts to remove someone, Mr. Speaker, who has been elected? And, and, and let's stop these stories of nominated senators. There's no difference between those who are elected through party list and those who are elected by votes like ourselves. The Constitution treats all of us equally. Mr. Speaker, why would you want to be in such a hurry to degazette a colleague when, Mr. Speaker, a legal process is ongoing? When a similar process in the National Assembly of, uh, of through the whole process up to now, the, the court of Mr. Speaker, I really beg you, there would be other grounds of uh, expediting processes like our removal, which happened this day or one year ago, and we are still waiting your ruling. But Mr. Speaker, when it comes to complete removal of a member from parliament, not positions from parliament, the speaker, you shouldn't have acted in such a hurry, especially you are acting against the, an existing order of high court, Mr. Speaker, that is in place up to 20th of May. I believe you should, the, the staff, Mr. Speaker, the clerks and the of your office should have given you a different advice. I, I can see you are extending that blame to somebody else, but the decision is yours. And Mr. Speaker, before taking that decision, you should have spent time to consult.